Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Froshgroon's Test Chamber 02 by Froshgroon. Hope I'm saying that right. The second part of my tests. Right. So, let's go ahead and get started. I believe this is one of their first puzzles, so... Or one of their first maps, rather. So I'll be trying to give critical feedback. Right. This signage right away is kinda confusing, like, look at these ant lines here. This is definitely a mess. When you have this sort of situation, you either want to try and use light strips to- to make the ant lines better, or you want to switch something to signage. It's like, one of these things is gonna have to be signage so that it looks better. These light strips on the sides aren't really helping with the ant lines, and neither are the fizzlers, but... Yeah, this is definitely kinda awkward the way that these ant lines are laid out. So you might want to switch some of these to signage instead if you can't get the ant lines to play nicely. But anyway, let's see what this button does. Hmm. So my question is, why is that on a timer? I am a bit confused about why the timer is necessary. Cause then you've also got... You've also got this up above. This is helpful. I do like that you put these ceiling portal surfaces here, cause that makes it so much easier to make a runway. Cause it's so hard to get gel, like, very close to the, the edge there. But... On the downside, we can't get gel right there, which is a little bit annoying. What is the timer for? Because the timer also does... that, I guess? I mean, I could just jump up here, and then... get stuck. Yeah, this is another reason you shouldn't use these, because players can easily get stuck in these. Only use these if you know the player cannot get to them when they are moving. Because if the player can access these while they're moving, they can easily get stuck and then they'll just be trapped in the map. So try to avoid those, unless the player can't get to them. Ah, this is a little bit frustrating. Come on. Stop doing that to me, game. So let's run over here, and see what's up in here. So we can't go back in there, so I kinda wonder what all the gel was for in there, because all I needed to do was bounce up into here. Was I supposed to, like, launch into here or something? I'm not entirely sure. Wow, why is this so big? Why is this room huge? Okay, this button has no signage, so I have no idea what it does. Oh, it apparently opens the way back. Okay. So I guess we're gonna need gel in here or something? Not entirely clear. Hmm. Well, for starters, let's just get this everywhere, and then we can figure out where we want to put bounce gel. Spread the gel everywhere. Everywhere. So it seems like we're gonna need it everywhere. But I don't really know why. Alright, that seems to be... gel in lots of places. Hmm. I guess we need that portal surface or something? That also opens that for some reason? What is this about? Okay then. I'm not entirely clear on the concept, to be honest. Looks like there's a Q button and a pedestal button up there. Which... I can easily reach right now, so yeah, let's go- let's go see what those are about. I'm kind of confused about what's happening in this- in this map right now, to be honest. What does this do? Uh, it drops a cube. Alright, so we just need to do that same thing again, I guess? I'm not really sure what we're meant to be doing here, but let me just put this cube here for now. And that cube goes to the exit, and... Oh, that fizzler's off now. When did I do that? Huh. Well... Let's try to go up there, I suppose. Again, I'm not really entirely sure what I'm doing here, but... I'm, I seem to be making some semblance of progress, so I'll keep doing it. I don't know why that room has to be so huge, though. That's- that's a bit of a problem, in my opinion. Oh wait, there's a portal surface in there, huh? Huh. So I guess you want me to launch and bounce or something? I don't think there's a good way I can actually make- make that jump, is there? So let's press this, right? Yeah. So I would need, like, bounce gel here or something. 
So maybe let's try getting Bounce Dell there. Yeah. Let's see if that helps at all. I don't- I don't expect it to, but it might. Cause I'll I'll hit my head underneath the exit, which will be kind of frustrating, but we'll see. Yeah, see I hit my head there, so that is a bit of an issue. Huh. So what was this one for? I'm still not clear on what that was for. I think this was- I think this previous room here was supposed to be some sort of tutorial chamber for something, but I was so easy to bypass because this gel is right next to this. Like, if you had just swapped the gels around, that would have been sufficient to prevent me from bypassing this. Although, maybe not, because you can bounce pretty far with this. Yeah, like, I can almost bounce up onto that button. Hmm. So, another option... ...is to get bounce gel right about there. So let's- let's try that. We've got Bounce Gel there now. And then... We can try a slow launch out of there, and see if the slow launch helps at all. Okay, that was too slow, honestly. Way too slow. I need to jump, I guess. Okay, too fast. Gotcha. This is a little bit frustrating, because you can't really get the right speed. I'm not really sure if this is intended, though. Again, too fast. Okay, that might work. Yeah, that works. I'm not sure if I did this as intended. I definitely broke the first area, and I didn't use that, so yeah, I definitely didn't do this as intended. But, uh, yeah, there's some definite things you can do to improve this map. For one thing, if you're new to map making, try to avoid using gels, because gels are really hard to use properly. Try to make maps without gels first, and then once you're more experienced, then you can start using gels again. I'd also recommend checking out Rectorox's guide to Portal 2, and the easiest way to do that is to go to the Guides tab, and search for Rectorox. And you'll find this one right here, Rectorox Guide to Making Better Maps. You can just read through that. And then there's also Demon Arisen's series. You can just Google search Demon Arisen on YouTube and you can find his series. I'll also put links in the description. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!